Okay, this is where we left off in the last video. We have the walls and the bottom line, which is the sense of the player and the ball. And now we can shoot the ball. It has a constant velocity, so it don't slows or speeds up. Don't slows down or speeds up. And uh, in this video, I'm going to add our game reset functionality. So when the ball is outside the screen, I I will add. Uh, so when the ball is outside the screen, I can press the R key and it will reset the game. And also, it will reset the game when the ball touches this bottom line. Okay, so I'm going to do this in the window, game window class. Okay, so here, after the on key release, I'm going to define a new function called reset underscore game. Reset game. So, First, we we are going to loop through the shapes in self that space that shapes shapes. So for shape in self that space it's shapes, and I'm going to ask if the shape current shape that body is not equal to self that static uh, I mean self that space that static body so the current uh, shapes body is not a static body Then we are going to remove this this shape. So self that space that remove remove the shapes body and also the shape itself. Okay, so. We are asking because the walls are static bodies, and when I re when I'm resetting the game, I don't want to remove the walls. Just remove the ball, which is a dynamic body. So the ball and the player, yes, and also going to loop through the constraints. So for constraint in self that space that constraint constraint I'm going to also remove the constraint so self that space self that space that remove the constraint Okay, and uh, lastly, the self that player will be a new player with self that space and self that ball will be a new ball, and it needs also the space and the self that player that position self that player dot position like we did here when i created a player and a ball okay i think that's all so now here in the own key press i'm going to ask if 
symbol equals equals key dot R. Yes, the R key. So if symbol equals equals uh, key R, then we are going to call the self dot reset game. Let's test it. So now I'm going to press the R key. And as you see, the, the player and the ball gets reset and also the joints are resetted. So let me test once again. So I, from now on, I don't need to always turn off the application and rerun it because I'm just easily can able to reset the game with pressing the R key. And also I'm going to add this functionality when the ball touches the bottom line. So go uh, back to the walls class and here I'm going to create a handler handler which will be the space that add a collision handler collision underscore handler so space that add collision handler and collision types ball this first argument and collision types uh, bottom bottom okay the collision types ball is here and the collision types bottom is here in the collision types uh, dictionary so collision type bottom and let's set the handlers that begin I created a video on on the collision handlers in my uh, PyMonk introductory series so you go to the reference and the collision handler you can see it has this begin function so so the begin will be the reset underscore game self that reset game self that reset game and I also need to define this callback function so def reset game and it needs the first argument is the self then it needs an arbiter arbiter a space and the data so here in the documentation arbiter space and data and it will return it needs return a true or a boolean value true or false so when the ball is colliding with the bottom this handler that begin will call the reset game uh, method and the reset game method will call the window that reset game and it will return a true so let me test it first test it with the R key the game resets now test it with the bottom and the game resets so every time when the ball will hit the bottom sensor the 
players paddle the ball and this constraint these two co uh, constraint is, um, groove joint will be resetted and in the next video I'm going to add the bricks and until then have a nice day and thanks for watching